Hey, what's up guys? It's Pete from the Boat Breakers. Have you ever thought to yourself, what food comes included with my cruise fare? Well, I just got off the brand new Carnival Celebration and I'm here to show and tell you what food comes with your cruise fare. What's included with your cruise fare. If you find this video helpful at all in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel so that I can get a haircut and so that we can bring you more content like this and help you make better decisions on your vacation. All right, guys, starting at deck 18, we have Fresh Creations, a quick serve stop that serves fresh salads that you can customize, located in the Serenity area, usually open for lunch. Please feel free to pause the video to read through the menu if you'd like. Definitely check this out. It usually gets crowded on a nice sunny sea day. Next up on deck 17, we are starting off with a classic and fan favorite, the Guy's Burger Joint. Usually open for lunch, come grab some world famous burgers with a wide selection to choose from at the toppings bar. There's plenty of seating, so don't miss out. I usually come here two, three, maybe four times on my cruise and I love it. Definitely try the fries, they're good as well. I just love this place, definitely come check this place out. Let's head over to the toppings bar to take a look at some of these fresh toppings that I was talking about earlier. You're probably sitting at home right now getting hungry watching this video because I know I am making the video. Again guys, please feel free to pause the video to read the menu. And last on this deck, we have Swirls, where you can come and grab a cone or a bowl and choose from frozen yogurt or soft serve ice cream. All right. I love me some ice cream during a nice hot day, and so do the kids. Next, we got deck 16 with a few fun places to check out. First up, we got Shaq's Big Chicken, where they serve spicy or regular premium juicy chicken. No preservatives, no hormones, no cages, and definitely no antibiotics. When I tell you this is one of my favorite spots to eat for lunch and dinner, I'm not exaggerating. This is the first place I went to eat on embarkation. Definitely check Shaq's Big Chicken out. Here's some of the beautiful toppings you can have with your chicken. And here's some of the food that I got. Look how good that looks. The fries are especially delicious. Now go ahead and pause this if you want to read through the menu as always. Next up we got Blue Iguana Cantina. For breakfast or lunch, get yourself a beautiful burrito or taco. Follow it up with some salsa or the salsa bar where all the toppings are fresh and ready to go. Now, I like to come here after relaxing in the sun and have a nice fresh burrito. I love the pork, so that's what I go to. And sometimes the shrimp tacos are great too. It all depends on what you're in the mood for. And here's the fresh salsa bar that I was speaking about earlier. Oh yeah, I'm getting hungry.
here I am getting a breakfast burrito with some eggs, bacon, and ham before I go out to one of the islands and enjoy an excursion. I remember this burrito. It was, it was delicious. Definitely check out Blue Iguana Cantina and get yourself a breakfast burrito. Next up, we got Lido Marketplace, where a variety of food is served in a casual dining atmosphere at the center of it all. The center of the ship is where you get some buffet style food. It serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But be warned, you heard it from me. They shut down for an hour or so to set the next meal up. So you will not have food in between meals. They will put closed signs up. And lastly, one of my favorites on the Lido, Street Eats. This is where you grab a few quick bites while hanging out at the pool from one of the three food truck inspired stops. We got specialty fries, dumplings, and noodle dishes. These small snacks change every day on our cruise to keep them fresh and exciting. So go ahead and check out Street Eats. Heading over to deck eight, we got Shebang. If you're in the mood for either Chinese or Mexican, yes, I said either Chinese or Mexican under one roof. Get them both here at Shebang. I didn't get a chance to eat at this lovely restaurant on the celebration. However, I did get to experience it on the Mardi Gras last year. I went with the Chinese and I was not disappointed. Take a look at the menu and please pause if you want to read or even scan that QR code down there. Let's take a look inside this beautiful establishment. We got the chefs over there. They're preparing for dinner, making it nice and clean. It's a nice big venue. All right, heading on to the next, we got Cucina del Capitano. This is Carnival's classic Italian restaurant. This is definitely one of my favorite spots as I am an Italian cuisine lover. I would recommend every single appetizer. Yes, every single one. We got cured tuna, nona's meatballs, forget about it, mussels, clams, minestrone, caprese, and a few different types of salads. As we're taking a look at the menu, feel free to pause it and read or go ahead and scan this QR code with your phone. Plenty of wine here at this Italian restaurant. I was trying to see if there's anything in here or they're just for display. You let me know in the comments. I have no idea. Let's take a look inside. Similar decor to Shebang. It's nice. It's big. It's got a lot of light. The vibe here at night is great. I did eat here on the last sea day and I will show you what I ordered in just a few moments. We got some pictures here on the wall. They're all labeled and they're getting ready for dinner.
Again, go ahead and pause and scan the QR codes for the wine list or the menu. Let's take a look at all the appetizers that I ordered when I came in. Yes, I ordered every single one. The waiter was like, are you sure? I was like, bring out every single appetizer. You got mussels, clams. There's the three different types of salads, the caprese, shrimp. There's Nona's meatballs, forget about it. There's some rice balls, the caprese. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And now this, I'm not sure what this was, but it did taste delicious. And let's take a look at a few desserts. Tiramisu, again, not sure of the names, but they were delicious. Next up on deck eight, we have Deco Deli, where you can go and grab a bite for lunch. They have just about every classic deli sandwich you can think of, hot and ready to go just for you. This line does tend to get long in the middle of the day, People will grab two or three sandwiches and head over to the Lido deck. You'll see a lot of people eating on the Lido deck these sandwiches. I had a meatball sandwich from here before. It was pretty good. Next up, we got Guy's Pig and Anchor. This is a magical place on board the Carnival Celebration. There's just way too much to say about this place, but I'll try my best though. This is your go-to barbecue spot with plenty of signature barbecue sauces that you'll see in a moment and plenty of signature sides that you're seeing right now. Trust me, you want to try everything. You want to come here multiple times. Everything is tender, everything's juicy, with choices like brisket, sausage, baby back ribs, salmon, dry rubbed chicken, everything is delicious. I just want to give another warning here, like before, if you'd like to have dinner here, please come early. I had to wait both times about a half an hour, which isn't too bad because they have games in the back, they have shuffleboard, and they have a foosball table. This area is also huge. We are looking at the outside of the Pig and Anchor currently, where you can grab some lovely lunch and eat out here with the breeze through your hair. And I will take you on inside and show you it's just as big inside. With beautiful views. Over here on the left, sometimes they have buffet style where you can just grab a plate and go. If you're eating here at dinner, it is a waiter that will come to your table and drop a menu and you just check off some boxes what you want your sides and we got flavor town which is their bar so this is pig and anchor and brew house they brew their own beer here shout out flavor town it's a nice bar and here's what i had for dinner let me tell you, videos do not do it justice. The lighting was all off. I ate everything on this plate. I'm just mad I didn't get the mac and cheese. And here we got four signature sauces by Guy Fieri. Next up, we got Miami Slice. This is where you can go grab a fresh personal pie with any toppings your heart desires. This is where you come after getting out of the club at 2 a.m. to grab a snack and chat with some of the people you met before bed. I highly recommend checking it out. You can also order it to your room on the app. That will cost money. However, if you're here, this is free and it's fresh. And I definitely recommend checking out Miami Slice and making a few friends here. Let's head over to the Festivale Restaurant on decks six and seven. This restaurant is one of the two main dining areas. It is a two level main restaurant on aft of deck six and deck seven with a sit down waiter service open nightly for dinner and sea days for brunch. 
The restaurant is also open for breakfast daily from 7 to 9 a.m. Deck 6 is reserved primarily for assigned dining, while Deck 7 is utilized for your time dining. So, when you book your cruise, you get to choose your time dining or any time dining. Now, me personally, I always go for the any time dining just because if I want to watch shows or I have to do things, I want to be able to come here at my own leisure. Now, the downside to any time dining is obviously there may be a wait versus your time dining where you sit at the same table every time you come to eat. Let's take a look at these amazing views back here. If you're so lucky to be seated back here for any time dining or this is your seat for your time dining, you get to watch a nice sunset with a beautiful dinner. You could pause the video here for the QR codes to see the menu, but that would probably be the menu for that day, so I don't know how much this will help. But the wine list will help. Here is an elegant night dinner. This is broccoli cheddar soup. I'm not sure what this is. It was delicious though. And here is the filet, mashed potatoes and green beans. And here, let's take a look at a sea day brunch. This was delicious. I highly recommend if you can get up this early, you didn't party too hard, to go get a sea day brunch. Delicious. And last up on deck six, we have the Carnivale restaurant, which is the other main dining area. Now, regardless of whether you pick assigned dining or your time dining, the Carnivale and the Festivale restaurants offer the same rotational menu. These menus do change nightly with a few always available items like the famous chocolate melting cake. And if you haven't heard, this is where you come for elegant night after you take those beautiful pictures of you, your family, your friends for a nice lobster or filet. I, on this cruise, was in the Festivale restaurant for the anytime dining up top. I did not get the luxury of sitting in this beautiful restaurant, but maybe you will. And that's all we got, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. See you in the next one.